when to test audio test. Yeah, I'm trying to to show here how to make a dual band uh, helix feeder. So uh, we have um, we have this LNB. It's a PLL LNB original. Actually, it's very st it's it's quite stable. Uh, it's from this brand here, uh, WNC. It's easily, it's easy find here uh, in, in Brazil. Also, it's it's cheap. It's about five five six dollars U.S. dollars. Um, what I'm using to make the helix actually is uh, uh, ten centimeters by ten centimeters uh, PCB, double copper PCB. So I make I make an X here with a pen, and uh, I mark the center. Then I I drill a hole with this um, not this <laughs> with this uh, with saw. It's um, two inches two inches diameter or 51 millimeter. I also make a width smaller, uh, with 46 millimeter, but uh, then uh, I have to, to wider the hole. So this time I'm, I'm using this uh, two inches millimeter um, uh, saw. Uh, so you make the hole uh, just in the middle of the, of the PCB. And then gonna you're gonna have this, okay? Uh, by the way, PCBs uh, uh, glass fiber, fiberglass, fiberglass, because uh, it's better for it will not take so too much uh, y humidity as uh, phenolite. <clears throat> uh, then I make uh, the helix itself. It's a 2.5 uh, millimeter solid uh, wire. Um, uh, this uh, at the moment, uh, I <coughs> this is with uh, internal diameter of uh, 53, 53 uh, millimeters. So the internal diameter here. Uh, I'm going to put uh, this helix in a 1.5 um, meter dish. So I intend to do one, one and two uh, turns. So I cut a little bit longer because um, uh, to adjust SWR, return loss, uh, I can uh, cut it, but actually for this 1.5 meter uh, dish uh, would be, would be 1.5 turn will be recommended. So I'm going to drill another uh, hole here to put the, the connector. It's an SMA connector with a flange, a square flange. Um, so it will fit right here. I'm, I'm going to have to cut at this uh, Teflon uh, side here because uh, I have to to start a helix uh, very close uh, to the copper. For, so if I'm lucky, I don't I, I don't need to do that uh, uh, tape uh, 
a coupler. Uh, so many helix that I made, uh, I didn't need uh, that tape uh, to to adjust the SWR. So I'm just cut this. Not sure it's going to be enough, but I believe so. Yeah, it looks nice. You see? Okay. Then... I'm gonna solder this this connector to the PCB. Yeah, this is a weak uh, iron iron uh, soldering, so but uh, so I have to wait a little bit more. You don't need uh, you know to use too much soldering. I don't shake too much, but I'm, I'm kind of nervous because it's uh, the first time I'm. I'm doing this live. <laughs> so, yeah. It's Yeah. Okay. Uh, another important thing uh, for the helix, uh, you must uh, get some kind of uh, isolator. Uh, this case, in my case, uh, it's a Teflon uh, bar, a round bar. Uh, I made a I made a hole, so I can it can support the helix, the helix in 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 other point, uh, not only on the feed point, but uh, on an additional point. Uh, you can use nylon or or anything, uh, you know, uh, microwave uh, proof. Uh, but if you can get uh, Teflon, it's better. And then uh, I'm going to solder uh, this point here. Let's see. Yeah, looks uh, looks okay for now. I think it's a little bit out of center. So let me 
bring a little bit uh, to the other side. Yeah, that's okay now, I think. So now, what are we gonna do with this? Uh, so you see, if if it's 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 going like that. So, so you have to fix uh, this part here somewhere. You can glue. I would. I will glue. I use super glue because if I put a screw here, if I put a screw here, when I attach the L and B. This is screw gonna screw up <laughs> and the L and B. So, so I'm going to I'm gonna use uh, super glue to to fix uh, this white uh, isolator uh, right here, and uh, then I'm going to to also to glue uh, uh, to glue the, the L and B here. Make sure that uh, you you put the correct uh, skew, uh, the tilt uh, for the LNB, um, because uh, uh, well it it's not so important because when you fix uh, this feeder to your dish, you can you can turn uh, like you can turn like that. Uh, there is not a problem, but uh, usually. Uh, this connector position may be an uh, issue, so you need uh, to to pay attention where you you're going to to fix uh, the L and B behind the PCB. All right, uh, basically that's it. Uh, so maybe I, I'll be back uh, to show you with the vector analyzer uh, how the Helix uh, performs. Uh, Helix is a very easy to adjust uh, because uh, you can change uh, the length. You may cut uh, like in half centimeter, half centimeter, or even less, and or you can uh, adjust the distance between the the wounds here. So. Uh, if you have an antenna analyzer, it's quite, it's very easy to 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 get um, to get this uh, done, or if you if you don't get a good SWR, you may use uh, those type of uh, copper uh, tape. Uh, it's auto adhesive, and uh, you may you know put uh, like uh, about uh, three centimeters uh, rectangular. And attach to the to this part of the helix here, and then you're gonna change the distance of this uh, uh, of this uh, coupler. All right, uh, that's it. Uh, 73 to all Papa Yankee Radio November.